Well, the focused energy continues on TGI Friday. Hi, everybody. Thomas Miller on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Glad you're with us. Thanks for stopping in. We're going to wrap up the week, set up the weekend, and talk about a couple of special things going on. Yesterday, we had somebody in our Facebook group, the Subconscious Mind Mastery and Fun Astrology Podcast listeners group in Facebook, asked a question that was great. He was asking about the moon conjoining Jupiter last night. Was that a big deal? Especially because there's a meteor shower going on right now. It's a very minor thing, but back in 2003, there was this space star that broke apart, and some of that debris, we're going through it right now. So the night sky in the northern hemisphere might be lighting up a little bit where you are. And typically, I don't put a lot of the lunar aspects to various planets on here because they are short-term triggers, usually if you even feel them at all. And I know I see people on uh, Twitter, especially the Astro Twitter crowd, uh, there are some people in there who point out every little aspect of everything going on. And I just, I don't know. I think we're, I, I, to me, it's more about the stream of life, the bigger river, right? The bigger energies. I think we can slice and dice too thin, in other words, sometimes. And if you really are a creator of energy and the creator of your life, you create on the big picture and you don't worry about the little things. One other update from yesterday, I had mentioned Princess Catherine and that whole situation. And then, <laughs> see, these are done. I have to, right now I'm doing them a, a day in advance. So that photo of her and William in the car had not been released yet. Because I did check the news, at least on Twitter I'd looked on there, and it wasn't there. Nothing about it. Well, I recorded the podcast and boom, there it changed. I mean, the only picture I've had time to see as this is being recorded yesterday morning is that she was looking away out the window and just still don't have a clear shot that that was exactly her. So the whole thing, but here's the point of that analogy, is that this is a time with Neptune in those later degrees of Pisces that we just put it out there and we just hang on integrity, honesty, telling it the way it is, even if the truth hurts, risk that rather than a cover-up. And you say, well, you should do that all the time. I know, but people don't. Organizations don't. Governments don't. Royal families don't. Individuals don't. I'm just saying right now, the energy is very strong to just speak the truth. Make a commitment to integrity. And that sets up our big aspect of the weekend, which there are no direct aspects in the sky today or tomorrow, but there is a big one on Sunday, and I am uber familiar with it because I have it. The sun exactly conjoins Neptune Sunday morning at 7.22 a.m. Eastern. So that means we are in the applying phase. We, that energy is getting stronger today and tomorrow. It culminates on Sunday. I have that in my own natal chart, in addition to Mars being on top of it, which just kicks the whole thing into a higher gear. But I can tell you from all these years of experience that the aspect is one exactly what I was talking about, to run from the truth, to hide the truth, to very craftily mask the truth, to say what people want to hear. And it also, on the high side, Exactly what I was just saying makes you want to run to the truth, to embrace it, to speak it regardless. And to me, that's where the energy for us who are on the high timeline should be focused. The other thing I heard from our Facebook group is that a lot of people are challenged through this energy right now. And escapism is also a part of the shadow side of Neptune. Addictions. In other words, rather than strengthening through the tension... Just check out, numb it up, and hope it goes away. And that right there is a clear high-low timeline side reaction to this. The other thing that you get with the sun conjoining Neptune is you have the opportunity to plug into the home office. Intuitive prompts can increase during this time. And because it is in Pisces, which of course is ruled by Neptune, it's amplified, number one. Number two, the moon also enters Cancer on Sunday morning, which is a water sign. And even though it will not be in a direct trine to this conjunction, it will hit both the sun and Neptune by trine around Tuesday morning time frame. So while this is going on, the moon is amplifying this. That's basically what I'm trying to say. The moon will be in its own sign of Cancer. That's extra intuition. This aspect going on in Pisces is extra intuition. 
Guys, this weekend, it's a weekend to stay clean, stay pure, keep your thoughts, keep your words, keep your body all in alignment with what you're trying to do if you're wanting to live your highest timeline because the power from the universe to support you is humongous. Oh, so much going on right now. I know a lot of people are saying, wow, for stacked energy, this is something else. And it truly is. Thanks, guys. Hope you have a wonderful TGIF wrapping up this amazing week. And I'll see you back for Merriman tomorrow. And then we'll be back again with Level Up from the new digs. And I got some new toys. And hopefully my desk will be here and all of that. And then back here again on Monday. Love you. Bye-bye.